Welcome to YouTube channel Scientific Underscore Math. In this lecture, we will discuss the diagonalization of a matrix. How we can diagonalize the any square matrix? Okay, so let's start. Diagonalization of a matrix. Any square matrix A can be written as the product of A is equal to x into D into x inverse, where D is the diagonal matrix made up of eigenvalues of A and X is the matrix with the corresponding eigenvectors. Okay, so for example, uh, this one is the diagonal matrix and uh, the diagonal entries uh, of the diagonal matrix are the eigenvalues of the matrix A we can see and uh, similarly we can see the matrix X contains and the eigenvectors corresponding to the uh, eigenvalues uh, lambda 1 cos uh, lambda 2 and uh, lambda 3 and up to lambda n okay so where uh, x1 x2 and uh, xn are the eigenvectors corresponding to the eigenvalues uh, lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 and uh, lambda n in order and are written as the column vector okay so uh, let's discuss example related to the diagonalization and uh, we will diagonalize the matrix uh, the given square matrix okay so uh, we have an example diagonalize the matrix a this is the given matrix and we have diagonalized and what is diagonalized we diagonalize the, we convert this matrix a into the product of the icon vectors matrix of icon vectors into the uh, diagonal matrix and with the inverse of the icon vectors okay so uh, The diagonalization of a given matrix A is written as the product of the matrices and A is equal to the this one is the matrix of eigenvectors and this is the diagonal matrix with the eigenvalues and this one is the inverse of the eigenvectors matrix. Okay, so D is the diagonal matrix with the eigenvalues and X is the diagonal and X is the corresponding eigenvectors. So for diagonalization first we find the eigenvalues first step is uh, we find the eigenvalues of the given matrix that is the matrix a and uh, okay so this one is the given matrix and we know that x is equal to lambda of x and when we rearrange them a into x minus lambda of x which is equal to zero we took these terms to the left side and uh, now we take common x from over here so a minus lambda and here will be identity matrix into that is the x which is equal to zero so we have the characteristics equation this one is the characteristics equation and uh, we find the determinant of the matrix a minus lambda into identity matrix this one is the identity matrix of same order of the matrix of a and uh, then we simplify and we find the determinant of the matrix okay so this one is the matrix a and here we have the uh, identity matrix of uh, order 2 okay so uh, we multiply the uh, lambda uh, with this one uh, identity matrix uh, this will be lambda and this will be lambda and here will be 0 and 0 so after subtract sub, uh, subtracting we get this matrix and now we will find the determinant of this matrix and we know that how to find the determinant the determinant of the matrix we multiply with this term with this term and we can see that this one and then we multiply this one with this okay so after simplification we get this equation and now we factorize this equation by midterm breaking and after factorization we get uh, this one and uh, now we compare uh, lambda minus 1 is equal to 0 and uh, lambda minus 2 is equal to 0 and this will give us the lambda is equal to 1 and this will give us lambda is equal to 2 so we have two uh, eigenvalues lambda 1 is lambda 1 and this is equal to 1 and lambda 2 is equal to 2 okay so uh, now we will find the corresponding eigenvectors and to the given and uh, to the eigenvalues lambda 1 and 2 so then uh, our second step is uh, finding the eigenvectors corresponding to uh, the uh, uh, eigenvalues lambda 1 and 2 so far uh, lambda 1 lambda 1 uh, 
uh, we write uh, for lambda z1 is equal to 1 okay so we have the equation that is a minus lambda of i into x and here again we put the uh, matrix a and uh, identity matrix and here we write the uh, lambda 1 eigen value okay so this one is the matrix a this one is the identity matrix and this is the a lambda one eigenvalue and uh, we simplify this one and after simplification we get this one and uh, minus uh, okay uh, after some simplification uh, we uh, subtract uh, 3 minus 1 is minus 4 and uh, the 6 minus 1 is uh, 5 okay so i will write over here this will minus 4 minus 4 and 5 and okay 5 and x1 x2 okay this one is equal to 0 0 okay so the augmented matrix for the system we, uh, we write this uh, the uh, uh, augmented matrix this one this one is the augmented matrix okay so now we eliminate the terms below the pivot equation this one is the pivot equation okay so how we eliminate this one we multiply the equation, uh, pivot equation that is the R1, that is the row 1, this is the pivot row. We multi uh, multiply this pivot row um, by uh, 5 divided by minus 4, okay, and subtract from R2. This will give us a new R2 row. So, after this one, we can see that this one is the uh, multiplication and uh, uh, now uh, after multiplication and simplification we get uh, this one new matrix and here we can see that uh, the, this this is the, uh, the row the second row is completely zero okay now we again write this one into x is equal to b form and uh, okay so after writing this uh, ax is in ax is equal to b form we multiply the first row with this one and the second row with again this one this the column matrix x and we get this one okay and so now we can take common from over here minus 4 and x1 plus x2 this will be equal to 0 and uh, this this will this will be 0 when uh, this will come to the right side and x1 plus x2 which is equal to 0 okay so here i will suppose let x2 which is equal to 1 and this will give us x1 is equal to minus 1 okay so uh, okay so this will give us when i, I suppose x2 is equal to 1 and uh, this implies x1 which is equal to minus 1 so the vector uh, the uh, eigen vector corresponding the corresponding to the uh, lambda 1 eigen value this one we have this is the eigen vector so the eigen vector x1 which is equal to minus 1 and 1 corresponding to the uh, value eigen uh, lambda 1 which is equal to 1 and now we will find the eigen vector corresponding to the lambda 2 which is equal to 2 so on the same steps uh, we we will find the eigen vector corresponding to the eigen value and uh, this one is the again we have uh, we simplify this one and this will be equal to minus 5 minus 4 5 and 4 okay so x1 x2 and which is equal to 0 0 and we write the augmented matrix for the system and uh, we have the augmented matrix for the system this one now we again eliminate this row and uh, by multiplying the uh, row r1 this is the pivot row uh, by 5 divided by minus 5 and subtracting from r2 this will give us a new r2 so after uh, simplification we get this the new matrix augmented matrix is this one and uh, now we again write in ax is equal to b form and after the writing this in b form we multiply the first row with this one and second row this one this is a completely zero so this will give us a zero and uh, so over we have this one now again we suppose the let x2 is equal to one and uh, this implies x1 is equal to minus 4 by 5 okay so uh, the uh, 
eigen vector corresponding to the uh, lambda 2 we have uh, we have this one and uh, the eigen vector x2 that is uh, the corresponding to the eigen values lambda is equal to 2 okay so thus uh, the uh, matrix we have the eigen matrix or uh, uh, we can say that uh, this is the eigen matrix uh, uh, eigen uh, eigen vector matrix that is corresponding to the uh, eigen values and uh, this one this one we have this one is the eigen vector x1 corresponding to the lambda x1 and this one is the uh, eigen vector x2 corresponding to the uh, uh, value eigen value lambda 2 okay so now we have the matrix x and uh, then we find the then we again we find the inverse of the matrix x and we know that how to find the uh, inverse of the matrix and uh, after simplification we have the uh, inverse of the matrix x this one and uh, okay so therefore therefore a is equal to uh, uh, x into the diagonal matrix that is that contain the eigenvalues and with the inverse of the matrix x so uh, the matrix x is equal to the product of the eigenvectors and the eigenvalues matrix diagonal matrix okay so the diagonalization of the given matrix is this one 